I'm actually wearing my uh, syringe earrings today. Um, but I don't, I don't, I mean, that was, that was not planned. <laughs> <laughs> Portugal has done a great job because on the one hand, what they did was they decriminalized drugs, which led to this shift in beliefs. It, it'll be a model for other states because it's built off of a model that we already know that works from Portugal. In, in San Francisco, <laughs> there's a fair amount of open air drug use. You know, people like that shoot and smoke in public. Yeah, and, and a lot of that is because people don't have other safe spaces to go. This is exactly where safer consumption spaces fit in. They're not for the average everyday user who has a place to go and who has someone who can sit there and be there with them. These are specifically targeted for people who have nowhere else to go, who may not have that support network of someone who's around to respond, and who may need um, you know, a safe space where they can take their time and use. One of the strategies that's being promoted in light of fentanyl being in our drug supply is check your drugs, first of all, to see if fentanyl is, is, is in there. And if fentanyl is in there, go slow, right? Uh, don't mix. Um, make sure someone with Narcan is on hand. And the easiest way to do that is if you're not rushed and if you're in a safe consumption spaces and you're not worried about a cop coming by and arresting you <laughs> or someone from the community um, harassing you, in Portugal, if somebody is using drugs in public, what happens to them? They are told where the nearest safer consumption space is, but a police officer will not arrest them. In the United States, there's still such an impulse to like get a cop involved and to still say that there's a line at which we have to arrest someone. And I think that that question is just not even part of the equation and how they look at this anymore. Has Portugal normalized drug use? They've, they've normalized it as some people cope with life by using drugs, some people cope with life by exercising. Like, so they've normalized it as like a strategy that some people use. It sounds as though what you're saying is that really we shouldn't have, we shouldn't be coercing people at all into treatment. Is that right? Yeah, we just need to make treatment more attractive.